Hello, guys. How are you doing today? Hello, teacher. Glad to see you, Neida, Irene, Ana, Guillermo. Thank you for being early. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. How are you guys? All good? Amazing. 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 Good. <laughs> All right. All right. So what, what do you do today? Just uh, work? Yes, I, go. I was working today. All day, teacher. Oh, really? In my office. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Okay. What about you, uh, Irene? I love, I love, I love words, but happy. Okay, very good. What about you, Guillermo? Thank you. Um, in lesson, lesson four. Mm, all right. Now, well, how was your day, Guillermo? How was your day? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo estuvo su día, Guillermo? Uh, estuvo right, very no, nice. No, no Spanish. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> very nice. Don't say mm. very nice. Don't say very nice. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. sounds awful. Right, I, I, you can say it was I, great. I, I, I go to... I go to... I, I'm going to... Uh -huh. Bicycle. Uh, in the in the in in the in the uh, not 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 still. Okay, very good, very good. Anna, so what do you do today? Remember, you're muted. You're muted, Anna. You're muted. Hello, teacher. My day was great. All right, but what do you do? Describe your day. During the day, um, I was work in, in my office and I visited the project and uh -huh. I go to the bank. I went to the bank. Okay, very good job, very good job, Anna. Very good. All right, Mauricio, how was your day? What do you do? Hi, teacher, baby. Tell me, how was your day? I, I am sick. Mm. sick. Oh, I'm sorry Good to morning. hear that. Yes, <laughs> very good. All right. I, I, have, I have flu. You have, okay, very good. All right. Sorry. You came down with the flu. Very good. All right, guys. So, all right. So, did you finish the listening exercise yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, oh, yeah, you did, right? Yes. Did. Yes. All right, very good, very good, very good. All right, super good. Uh, just waiting for everybody else to come by. See what's going on? All right, guys, so do me a favor. Uh, let's all go to section number 4.10, listening exercise. All right. Actually, you know what? No, we. I'm sorry. Uh, go to number five, guys. Let's start with number five today. Number five. Yes, number, number five, no. All right, how do you... <laughs> number... <laughs> Final sound. Ah. Uh huh. Number what? Uh, five point one. Okay. All uh, right. Just pronunciation. Right? Five. 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 <laughs> five. Thank you, teacher. Five. Right, very good. Right. Yeah. Five is the five nada, right? <laughs> All right. Very good. All right, guys. So, uh, let's go to the lesson objective. All right, let me share my screen. All right, very good guys. So help me read, uh, help me read Anna. Sending a message to the guys. 
Uh-huh. Could you please um, have a more uh, more okay, mark de la letra? Okay, can I? Okay, how do you say? How do you say that? How do you say that? You zoom it in, everyone. Zoom it in. I'm zooming in. All right, could you please uh-huh. zoom it in? All right, repeat, it guys. repeat everyone. Could you please zoom it in? Could you please zoom? Could you please zoom it in? Zoom it in. Zoom it in. Zoom it in. And I will answer yes, absolutely. Thank you, teacher. Very good. All right. Go. Absolutely. All right. Good enough. Yeah. Uh, in this class, you will listen to a conversation where unreal conditional sentences with if cause or uns are used in context. Okay, very good. All right, once again, once again, let's read it once again, Anna, but this time with the right yeah. pronunciation, okay? Um, so, in this, com- how do you pronounce this, um, Eneida? How do you pronounce? Conversation. Very good job. One more time, Anna. Conversation. Conversation. All right, conversation. Everyone, conversation. 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 Very good job, very good job, okay. All right. Conversation. Very good. All right, let's start watching the first video. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him. Earned it and the- All right, how do we read this quantity of money, guys? How do we read this? How do we read 750 mil? Yes. How do we how, how do we read that? No. All right. Uh, I have to okay, take it for coming. Seven hundred. Uh huh. Fifteen mil. Thousand dollar. Okay. Once again, fifteen or fifty. Fifty. Uh, okay. Once 50. again, Anna. Seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars. All right, feasting? No, feasting is you don't want to know. All right, uh, Angel, Angel, welcome, Angel. How are you doing? How do you pronounce? Uh, okay. How do you pronounce seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars? Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Seven seven thousand fifty dollars. Fifty no. Okay, guys, right. Let's 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 learn pronunciation, right? It was seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. It's not hundred. Hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred fifty. Fifty. No, it's not. It's not fixed, guys. It's not fixed. It's not fees. Um, fifth. 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 All right. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Fifty thousand dollars. It's not okay. Anna, it's not fifteen. Right? You're saying fifteen. 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 No, fifteen. No, it's not fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Hello, Douglas. Fifty. Everyone, fifty. Fifty. Say it one more time. Fifteen. Fifteen. Right. No, no, no. All right, Anna. When you say fifth, tiene que poner los labios como cuando le gusta a alguien o le gusta algo. Like, like that, right? Like, mm. <laughs> fifty. Como cuando ve un montón de pupusas ahí, no sé. <laughs> or something, right? Fifth. 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 Fifty. All right. No, you're saying. Why are you saying fifteen? This fifty, like t t t t t. Fifty. Fifteen. No, it's not fifteen. Right? All right. Let's practice that. Let's practice that later. Okay, you're gonna get time, get time to practice. Okay, very good. All right. All right. Let's continue, guys. The owner simply thanked him with a phone call. 
You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Very good job, very good job. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? Okay, guys, do me a favor, write it down somewhere, or just remember the answer, okay? What would Phil, what? What? What, what would? What would? What would? What would Phil do? Phil do. Phil do. Phil do. If he found $750,000. So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Hmm. Okay. Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. <laughs> All right, guys, so real quick, Gabriela, nice to see you again. Nubia, thank you for joining. Roxana, thank you for joining. If you have a camera, guys, turn it on, please. Now, I'm going to get you in couples, guys, and uh, I want you to answer the two questions. What were the two questions at the end, guys? Uh, Angel, pick someone. Um, uh, uh, Anna Hiro. Okay, Anna. Tell okay. me, what were the two questions at the end? Uh, at the end, I'll fin at the end. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, and Ada, what were the two questions that the girl mentioned at the end? Uh, the question, the lesson in the video. Yes, in the video. Mm -hmm. What would be do if he found um, I <laughs> don't worry. Uh -huh. Seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars. All right, it's not fifteen. It's fifty. Remember, fifty. Right. Very good. Very good. Don't worry. Okay. All right. So, all right. Let's listen to the question again. Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? All right. So these are the two questions that I want you to answer. Okay. What would you really do if you what? If you what, guys? If you found. If you found, right? This is. What would you do if you really if, if you found? Seven. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Actually, a wallet. She said a wallet. A wallet full of money. Or an expensive cell phone okay now guys second conditional who can tell me the structure of second conditional ¿Quién me puede decir la estructura de la condicional segunda? La condicional. Douglas? The second conditional for, for is... For a question, for a question, para una pregunta. Is... Uh -huh. Sería WH. Ok, WH, very good. Plus. Hey guys, ¿cómo se dice? Hold on, give me one second. How, ¿Cómo se dice desglosar algo? There is a phrasal verb for that. What? Break it down. Everyone, break it down. Break it down. Ok, break it down, right? So let's break it down. All right. Um, WH plus what? Wood. Okay, can we use another model, uh, Irene? Can we use another can we use another model other than than wood? Can we use a different one? Maybe Facebook. Okay. 
uh, what models were we seeing yesterday, guys? Okay. Uh, okay, very good. good. Now. Now, good, good, you might. Very good job. Models in that? Models in that? Well, Alison, que tiempo gramatica. Hello, how are you? Good to see you again, Oscar. Modales, ¿en qué tiempo gramatical usamos, guys? ¿En él? 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 ¿En What else? Cool. Might, Might. Must. Okay. All right, said it, right? So, WH plus models in the past plus what else? Uh, Oscar, what else? Condition. What? Subject. Very good job, okay? We subject. A subject. Very good. Thank you very much, Aneida. Uh, plus what else? Uh, what else, Oscar? <laughs> Uh, you're muted, you're muted, you remember. Okay, remember. The compliments of the compliments okay, of like that. Compliments, verb? Oh, uh, we're missing something. We're missing something. Before the, the compliment. Very good. The verb in what form? The vehicle. Present. 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 Take a look at the example, guys. Take a look at the examples. Present. Are you sure? Take a look at the example, Eneida. Take a look at the example. No, it's not in present. Nope. No, no, no in present. No, no, no. All right. I'm going to explain this in Spanish, guys, okay? First of all, guys, no se acostumbren a entender algo por medio de la gramática, right? You need, you need to learn something. I mean, you need to... Necesitan aprender... Aprender algo por práctica, porque suena natural, right? That is called the natural learning method, el, eto, el método natural de aprendizaje, okay? Because when you're speaking, you're not going to be thinking about grammar, you know? No, but here's the grammar so you can, so you can do the exercise, right? Mm -hmm. Now, guys, ayer, ayer que dijimos, el modal, what is the model, what is the model here? And what would you really do if you found a wallet? ¿Cuál es wood. el que tenemos? Wood, right? Wood. Uh -huh. Wood está... está... All right, so, what is wood modifying? ¿Qué está modificando el model wood? The verb. Very good. What mm. verb is it modifying? Do. Very good, ok. Está modificando el verbo do, ok? Uh -huh. All right, now, what did I say yesterday that a model... Uh, that, like, what form... Um, In what form the verb has to be uh, in order to uh, be modified by the model? ¿En qué forma tiene que estar el verbo para que sea modificado por el, por el modal? Infinitivo. Infinitivo. In base form. In what, base guys? Form. Base form, base right? Base form. Right, Neida? So base. far, so good? Yes. Yeah, right, very good. Now, ahora, como Wood está modificando do... En la segunda condicional, condicional, en la segunda condicional, cuando se, cuando, cuando se usa if, cuando ves if, tiene que ser en, en, en simple past, very good, ok. Siempre que vean segunda condicional, guys, si ustedes ven if, if está casado con simple past, ok, all right, very good. So, all right, so verb. In past plus what else? Complement. Very good job, right? Plus complement. Okay. Right, we're just gonna leave it here. Plus complement. Plus what else? How do we call? How do we call the la signo de interrogación? Question mark. Very good job. Mark. Question mark. Okay. Very good job. All right, guys. So you're gonna ask this question. Okay, everyone. What would you really do? Repeat, guys. What would you really do? What, what would you, you really do, 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 really do if you found a wallet? If you, you found, found a wallet, 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 w
Or an expensive cell phone. Very good job. Okay, all right. Let's break. Uh, let's make the rooms, guys. And I want to hear you practicing. Okay. Let's go. All right, very good. There we go. Join in, guys. My keyboard was about to fall. All right, uh, Guillermo, Mauricio. All right, there you okay. go, Guillermo. You need to join. Yeah. Okay. All right, you good, Guillermo? All right. Hello. I, I don't what? have a, a, a partner. Yes, Guillermo is coming here, but Guillermo is having issues getting connected. Oh, so, okay. all right. So, uh, oh, you know what? Douglas is alone, all right? So let's get Douglas in here. Douglas. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Break room two. Oh, no, no, no. Douglas is with. Uh, I'm going to get you into another room then, okay? I'm going to get you together with Douglas and Nene then. They are very okay. good. All right. I, how many? <clears throat> I go to buy a, a hamburger. The uh, costs uh, um, ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Only that. Yeah. Okay, so let me hear you, Anna. Uh, well. I I think mm -hmm. if I uh, found about the wallet full of money, uh, don't don't touch it <laughs> because I know the consequence. Uh, Good job. Keep practice, yeah. guys. Okay. Wow. Me. To wait to call in for the cell phone. Oh, you will call, you will give a call, you will give a call to the owner with the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the morning, I uh -huh. call, I call, pardon, I call by lots and nights. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, no, pero un montón de dinero. Eh. Que si fueran siquiera unos 500 dólares. No Spanish, no Spanish. 500 dólares, I don't know. Something like that. 500 dólares. That's to be at least 500 dólares, right? Uh -huh. All right, very Less good. Less than that. All right, keep on practicing, guys. Keep on practicing. How do you say no? la pena. It doesn't give the... Oil. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. All right, worth let, it. Me, let me write it down here. All right. Okay. It's if I will found a, a cell phone and specs expensive cell phone, mm -hmm. I will look for the the owner phone number. Owner phone okay. number, Roxana. But I found an expensive cell phone, right? Very good job. All right. Continue, uh -huh. continue. Help Roxana if she has issues. Okay, Roxana, very good job. All right. Let's pick on the other rooms right now. Okay. I for example, I, when I come to home, I I see I don't use any more of these products. I come back to that store Hello. and I 
Hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you short, Gabriela. Um, when I come to home, or when I come home, Mauricio. When I come, when I come to home. Nope, it's not when I come to home. Everyone, when I come home. When I when I come home. Come home. Come home. There you go, Gabriela. How is it? How do we say it? I, I don't remember. <laughs> I come home. <laughs> All right. Uh, when I come home. Okay, say it. When I come home. When I, when come, I home. come home. Very good. Okay, continue. You're doing a good job. All right. Let me check on the other groups. Continue. I'm trying to explain to Maurice the difference between return, no, to refund and give back. Uh, okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, continue, continue, okay. continue. Practice second okay. condition. Practice second condition. Spanish. Okay. Good job, huh? Nice you're practicing. Yeah. Uh, all right, so any questions so far? No, teacher. All right, very good. All right, um, we're going to head back, guys. I mean, we're going to go back to the platform because we got to move on. All right, so let's go. All right, welcome, welcome back, guys. Um, I'm wondering if Guillermo was able to join. Guillermo. Yep, Guillermo had to leave. All right. All right, very good, guys. So let's move on, okay? Oops. All right. So now guys, hey, how do you say how do you say que tal si? How do you say that? What if? What if? Okay. What if, right? What if, okay? All right. Uh what if? Hey, uh como dices que tal si me asaltaran en el bus? How do you say yeah. that? What if I would get um, Robert or get, uh, I don't know. All right, now, all right, I'm going to teach you how to say that, okay? Because all a thief right. is a, is a robbery, right. a robbery, for, but in me, in my person, what would, what all right, would be? but ser asaltado, there is a way to say uh -huh. it, okay? What if, what is, uh -huh. it, what is the structure? What is the structure? If, stolen, if I... Okay, what if, if I know, what if I, okay, plus. What if I, wow. No, what if I. Uh -huh. What if I. Okay, what if I, and then the mm -hmm. verb has to be in what, in what tense? Past. Past, okay, very good, very good, okay. So in this case, guys, say that's the day is got mugged, they want got mugged. Mugged. Got mugged. Is that okay. T or D? This is, this is D. Okay, mugged. Mugged. What if I what got, got mugged? If I got mugged. Oh, you mean the pronunciation? Yeah, mugged. Like got a mugged. Thing, right? All right. Mugged. What if I got mugged? Okay. Uh, what if I, I got got I, hey, how do you say en el bus? How do you say en el bus? On the bus. On the bus. Very good. Why is it not in the bus, Douglas? Hello? Why is it not in the bus? I got mugged in the bus. Why can, I, why can we not say that? In the bus. Are you sure? On the, no, on the bus. Why? Why, Douglas? Why? In the bus. Because we use bus when we we use in way when it's a car, but when it's on the bus, and we have to use on when it's on a ship, on on a bus, or or another vehicle. Very good. Another job. big vehicle. Very good job. Plus for Douglas, guys. Hey. Beautiful, beautiful. Good answer. job. Good job. Right? Yeah. All right, so small things, guys, in. All right, small things, at least like over here. Small things in, okay? Big things use on, okay? Um. All right, so for example, what if I say, um, what if I say, uh, subita al avión? How do you say that? On board. Get on board. Get on the, on the airplane. Okay, on, okay. 
get on the plane or the airplane. Very good job, Douglas. On, okay, because it's big, okay. All right, what if I got mugged on the bus? Okay, so now let's Mug. let's let's watch the video real quick, guys. Okay. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary <laughs> situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. And now, did you notice that she said, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? That's because, what do we use second conditionals for, guys? For imaginary situations. For imaginary situations, there you go. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's All right, guys, so this is, this is the example that I was showing you, okay? However, I was, showing, I was showing you the example with a question. This is the example with a real sentence, okay? All right, so uh, if you have a notebook, guys, write down the structure. You, you were talking in second conditional, so you, you were doing a good job, but if you don't know it, guys, Tomele una foto, okay? Or, or no, like, just take a screenshot or tomele un screenshot mm. or escriba la estructura, all right? If. All right. Uh, well, okay, wait for me, wait for me. No problemo. Guillermo, welcome back, Guillermo. Nice to see you again. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Let's work first on the if clause. Now, one more thing, guys. Remember, the structure follows the same principle, guys, right? If you use if, you have to use, you have past. to use past simple. Okay. Very good, right? Very good. This one is formed with if, plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. All right, I'm gonna explain this real quick, guys. Ven que la oración empieza con if, usan coma. Si no empiezo con if, no usan coma. Got it? Got it? Okay. Got it. You got it, got it, right. Now, question for you guys. Can we use, can we say, I would visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in France? Can we say that? With a, with a coma, I think you will say that. Okay, guys. Entonces, es otro tip, guys. Si empieza, si la oración, ustedes la pueden empezar de dos formas. Ustedes pueden, pueden empezar... Uh, con, con would o pueden empezar con if, ok? Si comienzan con move, no hay coma, got it? Yeah. I got it. Las dos cosas. Oh, ok, no hay coma. Mismo, okay? So I would visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in France. See the second example below, right? All right. Vamos a adelantarnos aquí because that's pretty easy. All right, questions about that, guys? Questions about this? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Question, question, question. Roxana, Roxana, thank you for joining. Uh, Roxana, Irene. Can you repeat, please? Can I what? Can you repeat, please? Yes, for sure. Uh, so, if the sentence, <clears throat> if the sentence starts with if, you have to use a comma, okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. If it does not start with if, 
You don't have to use a comma. Let's. All right. This. All right. So, empezas con if, okay? If if lleva coma, okay? Si no empezas con if, right? Si empezas con subject plus with, mm -hmm. then this is no comma. All right. Okay, no comma, no comma. I didn't know that. All right, very good, very good. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, uh, la otra cosa es que puedes empezar de la otra forma. La primera es, si yo fuese a Francia, si yo fuera a Francia, visitaría la Torre Eiffel. Pero igual que en español, puedes decir, visitaría la Torre Eiffel si yo fuera a Francia. Got it? Got it, got it? Got it. Sure. Very good, very good. All right. All right. So now, let's see a couple of examples. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. Okay. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Okay, all right, very quick, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do a rapid fire. Uh, Irene, give me an example, second conditional. Oscar, give me a verb for Irene. Give me a verb for Irene. Um, swing. Swim, very good, okay, Irene. Give me an example, second conditional using swim. If I could okay. swim, you having okay. If I could, if I could swim, I <laughs> might reduce <laughs> size. <laughs> I might what? Okay, dream, dream or something. Like very good job. Very good job. If I could swim, is that correct? No. Why not? If I swim. Okay. If I swim, okay. If I swim, no. But actually, if you say if I could, could is the uh, past of what? Oh, okay. can. Okay. okay. Now, okay, so... Is it possible to say if I could swim? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Okay. Very good job. Very good job. Right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So let's uh, go to the next one, guys. All right, guys. So let's complete. Uh, let's complete this in couples. Okay. Uh, help me read the instructions. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nubia. Help me read the instructions. Very good job. Complete the conversations with the verbs and practice, right? Very good. Very good. All right. So let me get you together, guys. All right. All right, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't accept it. Don't accept. Don't accept. Hold on. You have to recreate. Right, there you go. All right, let's go. Let's join. Okay. Hello, Nubia. Hello. Is complete? This conversation with the verse in brackets. Is this remember, fine? Remember to join our room, guys. Tienen que unirse a los grupos. Ay, no me uní. Bienvenido. Did you get the invitation? No le dio la invitación. No. No. Okay, no. let, me, let me close them again. Let me recreate them again, okay? Okay. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Who's, that? Who's that kid laughing in the background?
All right, so we're gonna recreate the groups the groups again, guys, because some of you were not able to join. Okay, vamos a crearlo de nuevo. All right. All right. Let's uh, go again. Let's join. Bueno, ya están otra vez las invitaciones. So let's go. Right. Uh, Guillermo, you good? All good, Guillermo? Todo bien, Guillermo? There you go. My husband is very sick. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You haven't joined to the class for uh, a long yes. time? Yes, I feel a little perdida. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you working on your computer? Yes, yes. It's a finite point, right? Mm, 5.4. No. Ah, 5.4. You got it? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This. Okay, no, let's this check. Okay. okay. The first, you. First no. one. The first uh, one. The first one, if you have three months to travel, where would you go? I joke, it's very good job. Continue. Okay. Three months. Where? To travel. Where could? It's a conditional. Could you uh -huh. or you go? Or será otro conditional? Very good. Are you are you okay? Doing okay? No. 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 <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number right. one, if you have three months to travel, okay, where would you like? Would you go? Where could you? Could you or would you? Could. Would. Where? No, I don't know if it's in the would or, or could. But the pronunciation is either could or would. It's just in the could, good, the bueno. Uh, excuse me, teacher. All right, no problem, no problem. Uh, uh, cool. No, cool. Right. Como Heather, yeah. Good, good, good. That's great. Cool, you go. All right. No. No, no sale. I don't know why. Um, I think this monk okay. All right. Let me check. No. <laughs> Roxana, you have a cool uh, answer. If you have three months to continue, travel, continue, continue. where go you go? It is good. It is, it is correct. What? The, the, the answer. Which one? The first. Number. I don't know. Ask Roxana. <laughs> Uh, check. Yes. Check. When you check, check the My. answer. All right, you doing good? No. Teacher, I have a problem tell uh, me, with, the, with the access, with the platform. I, I am working this night in the platform. Um, I don't know what happened in this moment. I, I, I cannot do access. 
Uh, okay. Um, I ex okay. So now remember, when you have an issue, cuando tiene problemas técnicos, tiene que reportar al grupo. It's a it's, it's the first time. Okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Sorry. No I, I, I am trying, uh, try, try. Okay, vaya, mire, uh, hay una cosa. Ciérrelo, si, sálgase de todo, vuelvo a abrir de nuevo. O sea, no, no, de, no de Zoom, right? Pero lo, de la plataforma, sí. Si mm -hmm. no le funciona, pues contacte al grupo. Okay. Because uh, they take care of that, okay? All right. Okay, teacher. All right, all right, don't worry. E igual siempre, eh, siempre complete la plataforma al final. <laughs> all right, uh, continue. Uh, no, no you, you, you can ask. No. You can ask an aid, I mean, well. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, very good. Le puede seguir preguntando, don't worry, Nubia. Nubia? Uh -huh. Nubia. Ya. <laughs> sí. All right. Help me, help me. Okay. Okay. Do you help me with the platform, with the sentence? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, please, um, um. You write the sentence. Write, write the sentence, please. Okay. Number one. Yes. If you, if you, if you a space, space, uh, parenthesis, como, uh, como se dice parenthesis? Practice. Parenthesis, parenthesis. Parenthesis. Three uh, modes to Very travel. Good. Continue, continue, continue. Coma, mm -hmm. where, a space, you, a space. Hello guys, how are you doing? Teacher. You're doing good, no? Yeah. We, we need a, a help. You need help? Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. because in the first one, in the first one for, for we, in the answer is, uh, if you have three more uh -huh. to drive, to drive it, uh -huh. where went? You go, no. Where went? You go. Where went? I don't know. Yes. Ask Angel. Angel, Dalia, give us, give us the answer. How are you, Dalia? Good? All right. Uh, teacher, uh, uh, what I believe is that the response is if you have three months. If you have or if you have? It ha had. Very good. If you had. Uh -huh. If you have uh, three months to travel. Where good you? Uh huh? I can't hear you, but yes, that's correct, Angel. That's correct. But uh -huh. but in in the in, in the application, the error. Okay, continue. Continue working. If it is correct, if it isn't correct, we'll, we'll we're gonna solve. It. But that is correct, Angel. You're doing good. Okay. Okay, if it isn't correct in the platform, if it isn't correct in the platform, we, we'll, we'll see what's going on. But so far, so good. Continue. All right. Good job. Good job, guys. All right. No Spanish, guys. No Spanish. So it's complicated. <laughs> okay. Help us, teacher, because Tell in number 4A, we we cannot uh, find out what to, what to write. What to write now. Okay. Uh, why? Number 4A. Tell me. Yeah, Break into houses if you locked yourself out. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. your question. No, uh -huh. how, how can we feel? Okay. Uh, I mean, after you, what would you write down? Okay, what is the meaning of break into, by the way? Es, es como entrar o violentar, entrar a una casa. Ex exactly, was... okay. All right. Uh -huh, break into, uh -huh. All right. So, what is the structure for a question in second conditional? If. Mm -hmm. Ah, in second conditional. Mm -hmm. What would? No. Okay. Continue. I don't know. All right. Ask, ask your partners, right? <laughs> ask your partners. <laughs> uh -huh. Guillermo, Guillermo, what would you do right now? Uh -huh. <laughs> would you would you break you. into your houses? That houses I, I I'm not mm -hmm. sure if houses is, is well written. Well, mm. well. Yeah, we... would, would you 
Okay, would you break into your houses if you locked yourself out? House, it's just house. O sea que se, sería, entrarías, o sea, te meterías, digamos, por el techo o por la, por la ventana en, en, a tu casa si quedas lockout, es el lock de, de, de echar llave, pero afuera. Porque lockout sería echar llave y te quedas afuera. Lockout, lock-in sería que te quedas, te echaste llave dentro. ¿va? Yeah. Entonces, wow, would you break into, would you broke? Pero es en pasado, ¿va? Would you broke sí. in your house if you locked en pasado yourself out? Would you broke? Would you broke? Uh -huh. Would you broke in, into your sí, house? Tengo, would you, would you sí, broke Oscar? 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 <laughs> What did we explain yesterday about models? ¿Qué explicamos ayer acerca de los modales? Que son infinitivos, que they are in the present tense. Right? Exactly. Uh -huh. And you're saying... Would you break? There you go. Will you break? Will you break into your house if you locked or locked? I don't know how, don't know how to say. Locked yourself out. Exactly. Uh huh. Would you break? Exactly. Wow. Teacher, are we to to read the whole sentence on the? Yes, the whole sentence. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. I see. Would you? Okay. La cuatro. Would you break into your house if you locked yourself out? If I, if I had not, if I hadn't, if I had not another kid, I asked a neighbor for help. Digo yo, como es en pasado, como es en el pasado, la ve. If I had not, sería. Okay. Break the... If you locked, but it's in the past, yourself, yourself, okay. <laughs> Self out. Wow, sorry. Oh no, Good. good. I think we are we are done, right? Okay, very good, okay. very good, very good. If All right. I... All right, very good. You... Let's, let's go back. Let's go back, guys. Yeah. Okay. All right, very good. We're going to solve. Hello. All right, all right. All right, we're gonna we're gonna solve them together, guys. Okay. All right, so did you finish, guys? Did you finish? No. No. Okay, which one are you missing? No. More minutes. No finish. Uh, don't worry. We're going to finish I, together, okay? I don't understand. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Vamos a, vamos a finalizar juntos. Let me share the screen. Uh, hold on. All right, guys. Eh, lo único que tienen que hacer es usar, usar la estructura que vieron en el video. That's it, okay? All right. So, en cuál, en cuál, déjame preguntarles algo, guys, ¿tuvieron buena la B, la, no. la 1B y la, y la 2B? La 2B, sí. 
All right. ¿Qué pusiste en la, do, en la Adobe? Ah, no, en la Adobe, no. All right. All right. Now, uh, no sé qué le falta ahí. Ya voy a averiguar bien. All right. Uh, but don't worry. This one's, guys, tiene que estar, uh, no sé qué le falta porque the, the structure is good. Okay. The answer is, guys, if you don't have it, it's, oh, that's easy. I will fly to Antarctica. I've always wanted to, uh, to go there. Okay. That is the right answer. Esa es la respuesta correcta, okay? I would. Okay. Uh, la otra es, I am not, I'm not sure, but I would go jogging two or three times a week. Esa es la correcta. Now, okay. todas las demás, guys, todas las demás. Uh, the last I, one. Last one is good. Last one is correct. If I didn't have another key. Okay. Right, I'd... Hold on. I would ask a neighbor for help. Okay, now, guys, recuerden, es la misma okay. estructura. If I, simple pass. ¿Cómo se hizo una simple pass en negativo? Didn't. Very good. Didn't, right? So if I didn't have another key. Could, could I say I hadn't? No, you can't say I hadn't. That's not correct. So this is I hadn't. You're talking about past uh, perfect past okay. perfect okay mm, all right very good very good all right so uh la estas dos que nos salieron correctas guys pregunten en la plataforma cuando termine um porque el, los que se encargan de, de, de eso guys ellos saben que tienen incorrecto a veces tienen correcto puntitos o cosas así right but those are the right answers if you have it like that those are the right answers okay all right so guys uh ¿Cuál terminó? ¿Quién tiene todas correctas como yo las tengo? A mí. Ok. All right. Um, any other one? That, ¿Alguna otra que no es la, la 1B o la 2B? No. No. Hey, let's try contracted form, maybe. The first one? The yeah. first one? What is the problem yeah. with the first one? Tell me, tell me, what is the problem with the first one? ¿Cuál es el problema con la primera? No, no me sale bueno. But why? What do you have? Show me. ¿Qué tiene? ¿Qué tiene ahí? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es su respuesta? All right, so, yes, if you have three months. Travel, to travel where? Uh, where? Where could. Could or would? Would. Would, yeah, esa es la respuesta. Where would you go? Very good, good job, very good where job. Where would you go? All right, very good, guys. So, all right, guys, so. Uh, ya casi terminamos el chapter. Uh, we're gonna skip the videos, guys. We're gonna jump into, um, we're gonna jump into the exercise. Okay. All right, guys. Do my favor. Mañana, hagan, hagan todo hasta los videos del 5.8. Okay. Ahora, right. si, tienen, si tienen preguntas con el ejercicio que, que hicimos hoy, pregúntense y apóyense en la plataforma. Oscar, I think, las tiene todas correctas, right? Uh, so, I don't want to give you the answer because I needed to learn, okay? Uh, ya vieron las preguntas como las tengo el video. También pueden chequear el video online. Váyanse a YouTube de nuevo. Les he mandado la lista de, de los videos de nuestra clase para que puedan repasarlo, okay? Si quieren repasarla y ver las la respuestas que tengo en la plataforma, go there. Uh, mañana vamos a terminar este rapidito, el ejercicio 5.9. Ustedes eh, solo necesito que que, que chequeen los videos, ok? Va a ser 5.5, 5.6, 5.7 y 5.8. Solo hay dos videos que tienen que ver rapidito y contestar la plataforma y that's it, ok? All right. Ok. All right. Do you have uh, okay. any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? No. Ahorita les voy, a mandar en la, les voy a mandar en la plataforma la estructura de Second Conditional para que puedan seguir practicando, ok? Y les voy a dejar el link de, del video también. All right. 
All right. Very good. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, anything else? Recuerden, guys, eh, mañana es el último día. Vamos a terminar para, para terminar todo esto. Conectes temprano, por favor, como hoy. Hey, thank you very much because you got connected early, guys. Um, y de ahí el jueves va a ser solo el examen final, ¿ok? Again? Okay, 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 guys. So, okay. All right, it's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you very much for joining. And you have a wonderful night. Good night, guys. Bye. Okay, you too. Good night. Good night. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night.